Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Katie and today we're going to jump right into some Madame Glam PR. So Madame Glam sent me four of their new acrylic nail art um, pens. So basically these are acrylic paint pens that you can use to draw on your nails. And as always, uh, Madame Glam continues to be a vegan, cruelty-free, 21-free, H-E-M-A-free company. So we certainly appreciate that. Um, the pens come wrapped in this plastic cellophane. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this type of packaging. We're just going to go ahead and phase through me struggling to get the cellophane off. Um, it comes with a little clip on the cap, which I found very, very convenient. I clipped them to my gel polish racks that I have hanging on my wall. Perfect to keep them out of the way, yet visible, so that I reach for them to use them. Um, and pretty much I'm going to go ahead and show you how to activate the paint pen. So you're going to shake it up. I highly recommend keeping the cap on for this part because I forget which one it was. I think it was the white one. Some of the paint actually splashed out. Um, but I think that's the only one that did it on and I was like really shaking it, shaking it. Um, and then what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to press down on the pen until the paint reaches the tip. Now, I have never used any type of acrylic um, paint pen before, so this is definitely a learning curve for me, and I am not very good at drawing freehand um, unless I'm physically watching a tutorial. So... We're going to call these Halloween scribble nails, okay? So that's what we did today. We doodled ourselves some nails. Um, you know, I just wanted to demonstrate them. I think if I would have used a flatter press-on nail, my art would have been a lot better. These do have quite an apex in them. Um, so it did make me doing my nail art a little bit more difficult because of the curve. And in the future, I am going to try to also do it on a matte top coat surface and see how that affects my drawing ability as well. Now, as you saw, the three white nails are River Walk from Madame Glam. I have it in the mini size. And then the two black nails are a different brand. I just don't have any black from Madame Glam at this moment, although I probably will pick out their perfect black next time they ask me to choose some colors. And according to their online directions, you want to put down your base layer of color first, remove the um, inhibition layer, which is the sticky tacky layer, and then you will go ahead and draw your art. Now, I did have a hard time getting the lines to be consistent. Again, I, I'm pretty sure that's just me not knowing how to use the pens because a little bit later on, or like as I was going along in the design, I did notice that I was getting thicker lines when I used the side of the pen and then much thinner lines when I used the tip. Um, but again, drawing with pencil freehand is not really something that I excel at. Um, I do draw quite well if I follow a tutorial while I'm drawing, but today I was just kind of doodling from the mind. So these are my Halloween doodle nails. Um, I still think that they came out super cute, but you're not going to see anything extraordinary as far as nail art today. Unfortunately, it's just not something that I'm strong in, so what you get is what you get. But I really did like these pens. I feel like other than my user error, the application was very nice. The colors go on smoothly. Um, once I kind of realized, like, how the uh, paint came out of the pen. Um, it was a little bit easier in some parts to get the design that I was looking for. There you saw me just add a little spidey friend. So for the middle nail, I decided that I wanted to do a Black Widow spider. So I'm pretty much just drawing my outline. I wasn't really sure like how far I wanted to come out or um, any of that and I know it's not exactly like a traditional black widow spider they are much more bulbous when it comes to the thorax um spiders are kind of my thing don't mind the weird words anyway um so I colored it in with the black and I found the best way to get the smoothest lines between your lining and your shading and thank you Sandra's sparkly sets because 
I picked this up from watching her unboxing video. Um, I'll go ahead and link her channel down below. You can go ahead and check her out as well. Is to draw your outline, let it dry for like a minute or two, and then go back in and add your solid color after. The thing that I like about these is unlike Sharpies or like other markers like that, the coverage is buildable. So like you see how I have some patchiness? Once I allowed that to dry, I could go back in on top and add another layer of color. So I was able to get quite nice coverage. Um, again, please do not mind my spider. The curve of the nail was also making it very difficult for me to get like the outsides of the spider down um, just because I was feeling, I was kind of like getting some resistance to like the shape of the nail. Like it just, I, it wasn't working with me. Um, so I was having some difficulties with that, but we just kept it moving. And so I ended up drawing the hourglass in white thinking that I would need it to help the red stick out more. And as you can see, I did over draw on some of the areas and it would have been just fine without the white behind it. In fact, I think the white made it look more of like an orange or like a much brighter pinkish red than what it actually is. And here you can see I'm really struggling with the curvature of the nail trying to draw my lines. Um, I definitely need to get some practice like it was just it was not working for me trying to draw on the curve of the nails I was really struggling with this um, I did go ahead and add some spidey eyes to my girl as well because you can't have a creepy spider without a bunch of creepy eyes I did go back in and thicken up the legs just to make myself feel better about how disproportionate they were um, and then I, for some reason, decided that she needed a line of web, which I didn't end up even liking. And going back in to clean it off, I just used a little bit of my two parts alcohol, one part acetone solution to remove that. Um, so if you do need to clean off your nail while using these pens, you can use the acetone um, or just alcohol or swipe, whatever it is that you use when cleaning up your nail art. Um, the black did smudge a little bit, but I mean, it's black and black is pretty messy no matter what medium you're using. Um, but other than that, the application was very smooth, very clean. I didn't have any issues with any of the colors. Um, the pens are very straightforward, very easy to use. I definitely want to use them on a flatter nail and I do have some full cover coffin tips that have no apex. So I'm thinking maybe the next time I use these, I'm going to go ahead and use it on those and see if I can get better results. Now today was just a quick doodle. I really wanted to showcase these pens since they were sent to me. Um, but I also wanted to do some Halloween designs as well because we're starting to get into that season. And before you know it, Halloween is going to be here and gone. You really only get like one month. Well, two if you prepare in September. Um... But yeah, so I still think these came out really cute. Like I said, they're just my little doodle nails. For the pinky, I tried to be like creative and do like a full spider web design, but it just was not, the lines just were not coming out even for me. Again, the nails were like super, super curved and had a pretty high apex. Um, so it was causing like some resistance when I was trying to draw. So then I thought, okay, maybe I'll do like some lightning bolts on the tip. And then I didn't really like the way that was looking either, so I did change it again. And then here at the end, you're gonna see that I just ended up going in, doing some goopy drops from the cuticle down, and then I did clear those up and clean them up off camera.
and these are what the nails are looking like before top coat now I did decide to go in with a matte top coat for this look today and other than a few minor little smudgy areas they did do very well underneath the top coat now I don't know if that's just the matte formula or if that's from the shiny formula as well but I have a really bad habit of like smudging my top coat back and forth especially with the matte because I just find that you get a much better matte finish when you really scrub it into any imperfections and any surface blemishes when you're applying it and then go in with a second slightly thicker layer without curing so I normally put down like a scrubbed in slip layer I hope that makes sense um, just to really coat the surface of the nail in a thin layer kind of mask any imperfections and then I'll go back in with a second pass with slightly more product on my brush and that will end up being my finished layer so you're going to be able to see the smudging on the red and on the nail with the spider on it now it's nothing major and had I simply wiped off the brush and gone back up to the cuticle area you wouldn't even have seen the smudging at all and here you'll see what I did was I actually passed my brush back up the nail and that is why the smudging happened so I think that if you do a nice even application from cuticle to tip and then if you do notice any smudging you just wipe the tip of your brush off you will be perfectly fine now again it's not like a major smudging I did not lose a whole chunk of coverage and even with that little bit of smudging that I did get it did not take away from the pigment on the tip of the nail at all now the spider did smudge on the black a little bit as well but black is a very difficult color in any medium that I've found especially in paint and art like it's really hard to work with I mean even in gel polishes it's a pretty difficult color to work with anyway um, and some of that smudging was from, from before when I decided to put the spider silk and here are the finished nails I hope that you guys enjoyed my doodle arachnid halloween nails using madam glam's new acrylic nail art pens uh, again i have never used a product like this before so it was definitely a learning curve all information will be down below in the description box as well as my 35 percent off code thank you so much for joining me today please be kind to yourself be kind to others and i really hope that you'll join me for future videos